So in this video, we will be discussing how to find the um, slope of a function, and specifically the instantaneous rate of the function at any given point. So depending on how they ask the question, this is what we're going to do. We're going to do this by doing the limit as at h approaches 0 of f of x plus h minus f of x all over h. So the first thing I need to do is find this f of x plus h, and we're going to go ahead and do that right over here. f of x plus h is going to be equal to 3 times x plus h squared minus x plus h. So we have um, we're just going to continue, 3 parentheses, x plus h, close parentheses, another x plus h, because that's what squared means, is that it's there twice. And I will get 3 parentheses x squared plus 2xh plus h squared, close parentheses, minus x plus h. I'm going to go ahead and distribute now. I have 3x squared plus 6xh plus 3h squared minus x minus h. So this is the value of that function I've marked off in blue. So let's go ahead and plug that back in. And this is like a little side note. It's not really part of the problem, but it saves me a lot of space in the long run. So I have the limit as h goes to 0. Something very, 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 very long over h. Okay. And so we're going to put our blue in here. We have 3x squared plus 6xh plus 3h squared minus x minus h minus f of x, which we will do in red. 3x squared minus x. Okay. So that's where we are. So these are the things that we have, and we're going to continue from this point. Now we'll keep staying in our, um, our fraction for a little bit. So I have the limit as h goes to 0 of 3x squared plus 6xh plus 3h squared minus x minus h. We're distributing the minus sign through the red. We get negative 3x squared plus x. That is all over h. Okay. Now what I notice when I'm here is that there are some things that will go away. So we're going to go ahead and cancel some stuff out. 3x squared cancels out with negative 3x squared. Negative x cancels out with positive x. And so now we have left. Notice all of the red is gone. All we have left here are blue items. So let's go ahead and write the black limit as h goes to 0 of some stuff over h. And the blue stuff is 6x plus 3, 6xh plus 3h squared minus h. Okay. Alright, so there we are. Now, this is pretty straightforward. Everything looks pretty normal. We cannot at this point or at any point so far have been just plugged in H. If we had, we would have gotten 0 over 0. It would have been a catastrophe. Um, so now, if we plug in 0, we'll still get 0 over 0, so it's not helpful. We're going to go ahead then and factor something out. So I'm going to have the limit as h goes to 0. And in the numerator, every term has h. So I'm going to go ahead and factor out h. And I will be left, I will leave behind 6x plus 3h minus 1. And that is all over h. Okay. 
So notice that h came out of every single term. I had three blue terms, and now I have three terms left inside the parentheses. If I distribute back through, I'll get back to this. Just make sure you're factoring correctly. And let's finish off our problem. What I notice I can do now is I can cancel out the h's. So I have left the limit. Oops, wrong color. The limit as h goes to 0 of 6x plus 3h minus 1. So now that I don't have a fraction anymore because I've canceled out h, I can do direct substitution. So here we go. We're going to go ahead and plug in 0. So we will get 6x, nothing gets substituted in there, plus 3 times 0 minus 1, and so we'll put 0 in it here in green. And so that's going to go away, and I will be left with 6x minus 1. And that is my answer. Okay. Notice when the limit sign left. So we had the limit the whole time until we actually plugged in zero here. Once I plugged in zero, the limit's not there anymore. So the limit leaves when you plug it in. So now I've used it. And so that's my answer. And what that means is if you remember what we talked about during class, that we actually found the derivative. And derivative is a formula for slope of any point. And so we know that given the original function, f of x, we have figured out that f f prime of x is equal to 6x minus 1. So they may ask you a couple of different ways to how to do this question. They may ask you to find the slope of the curve at any point. We did. They may ask you to find the derivative of the curve. We did. Let me ask you to find the instantaneous rate of change of the curve at any given point. We did. So there's lots of different ways they can phrase this, but we have used the limit definition to help us find the slope. And it is not a quick process. It takes a long time. I'm going to walk you through it again. Um, so the first thing I did is I remembered which one I was using. Now keep in mind that this definition, h, can often be changed out for delta x or some other number. Um, so just keep that in mind. H is less cumbersome to write than delta x, so I like to write it better. doesn't make any difference, though. So we first thing we did was we found f of x plus h, which took a little bit of doing, but we were able to find it. Then we subtracted f of x. Now be very careful when you're subtracting f of x to distribute through that whole thing. Notice that f of x, this red stuff, disappeared right away, that, every, that there was a term in f of x plus h that canceled out all the terms in f of x. And that's what should happen when you subtract it. And then we were left only with terms with h in them, which allowed me to factor h out and cancel. And then I was able to do direct substitution because I no longer had a fraction and find my answer. Okay, and so that is how we do it. I hope that this was helpful. If these are difficult to, for you, the only thing, my only real suggestion is to keep practicing, unfortunately. You've got to do them a lot before they become natural. Hope you have a great day. Thanks. Bye.